Welcome to episode 42 of From Chump to Champ. In the previous episode, we finished up our Bow of the Last Guardian. Woohoo! However, um, I want to get back into the ranged combat style. Now, the two big drops that I still need to get into the ranged combat style, in my opinion, are the SGB and the Corrosive Spore Hammer in order to make Death Spore Arrows. In this episode, we're going to focus on the second ladder of those two options and getting the Spore Hammer. So we're going to get a whole lot of Corrosive done this week, and hopefully we'll try to get that drop. If you like the content, be sure to like and subscribe. So after spooning the bow last episode, I decided I needed to spend some time making arrows. Now, I am not going to be using full arrows or any of the enchanted god arrows specifically because it's not really worth it for Iron Men to be able to do, use those. Um, I might use it for group content every now and again, so I'll make a few, but I'm going to more so use dine arrows. So I spent the majority of the weekend on mobile getting uh, temporal fungal shafts and sharp shell shards. I currently have about 30k of those, so I'm going to try to get 30k dinosaur propellant and just turn those into dine arrows. Hey, that's 103 fire making from experimentation. So I spent the uh, weekend making uh, dine arrows by collecting sharp shell shards and things like that. I have a total of 30k um, dine arrows to make. Um, I made about 5k, which I think should last me a fairly long time because the dine arrows don't really get used. Hopefully they, uh, make the Elder God arrows more, you know, Iron Man friendly. Um, hopefully that'll happen. <laughs> but for now, I think I'm gonna just stick with dine arrows. And it's time for the oyster. Let's see what we get for round one. We got, wow, absolutely nothing. And I forgot my monthly reroll. So let's, uh, let's just feed the oyster and then I'll go grab my reroll token. And oyster number two. Let's see what we get out of here. We got an effigy. I got a freaking effigy. I hate this game. Hey, that is a one hour corrosis done. Let's see what we get from this first hour. We got a page. I guess it's all right. That's about it though. All right, we're starting another hunter hour. Or well, an hour of corrosis doing hunter. Hopefully, we can get some. Get it this time. Alrighty, this is the last kill of the hour. Someone ended up dying. You can see his fungus right over there. So I had to uh, run around, collect the extra woodcut to get all the stuff for my statue. Hopefully we can get a drop. Nope. My friend did get the Codex of Lost Knowledge. So we got 11 mil in the chest uh, manuscript page, but nothing else super exciting. Starting another hour of Corrosis here. Hopefully we can get something. I know I'm not really do anything, but I hate this boss. So I just like a DC, so I gotta watch these guys do a three man. Hey, someone on my team got a scripture. Final kill of the hour. Let's see if we can get that spore hammer. Nope. Let's take a look at the chest. Ooh, a decent amount of soul runes, I guess. Nothing else really to it. They got the effigy. And. Nothing super exciting. Starting another hour of Corrosis here. I've actually been here for about 15 minutes, but I wasn't recording audio. So let's just pretend I'm starting now. <laughs> Hopefully we can get that Spore Hammer. Hey, that's 400 Corrosis killed. Ah, I got a manuscript and a Chaos Diary roll. Feels bad. Oh, Dub just got Crypt Bloom bot spot him. All right, we got the final kill of the hour. Hopefully we can get a spore hammer, maybe. Damn, no spore hammer. All right, loot's looking all right. We got nine more troves and a few soul runes, but nothing super exciting, unfortunately. We did get a page though. All right, another hour of Krosis. It's like hour seven. Dude, I got a Saren spirit and a blessing. Unfortunately, Runite Stone Spirits and Ethereal Comps. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to get my Spore Hammer right here. Spore Hammer incoming. No. Ah, kill me. All right. So we got a manuscript, eight troves, and 857 soul runes. Dude, this is like two Zami kills. This is bullshit. Damn it, I did not give these 15 bits of eight for Frank's free chest. Oh well. 
I guess we'll just still see what we get. We got a two-handed swordfish, 2k pure essence, 250 raw mantle or raw manta rays, 250 U logs, a crate o peg legs, a crate o baked beards, two aura refreshes. Ooh, an unstable air rune. Dude. Dude, check this out. The swordfish is on fire. <laughs> Got an hour, another hour of corrosive starting right here. Hopefully we get something this time. No. I'm lagging. Alright, looking at my drop log, I did indeed get a drop in that last kill. Even though I DC'd at 3k HP. <laughs> So they decided to finish the uh, kill that I DC'd on. The dude got Crypt Boom Bottoms. Congratulations. Got the last kill of the hour here. I don't think I get full points because I screwed some stuff up. Feels bad. I didn't finish my statue. Oh, I do get full points. I guess it doesn't matter. But still no drop. And looking at the chest, this is actually going to just be one kill's worth. 392 souls. I was not bad from that one kill. But... The uh, DC was the third to last kill, and then they did the kill without me. Um, so there's only one kill in here. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyed my flaming fish, so I decided to keep sake the uh, two-handed swordfish. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Alright, we got another grossest hour about to start. Hopefully we can get the uh, spore hammer here. No, I DC'd again. So it looks like they're going to try to finish this kill. They should have it because I did drop everything there. So, hey, teammate got Crypt Bloom top. Dude, this guy actually got both parts now, I think. Holy crap. Top and bottom. Final kill of the hour. Can we get the hammer? This guy got both top and bottoms, please. Nope. That guy's chest is like 900 mil. Meanwhile, I get 400. Feels bad. <laughs> oh my god, never mind. It's a 1.3 mil chest for him. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get a page. All right, we got another hour of Krosis running. We'll see if we can finally get that spore hammer. It's the final kill of the hour. Probably the final kill of the video. Hopefully we can get something. Feels bad, man. And let's take a look at the chest for this hour. Um, eight kills, eight troves. Um, decent amount of cash, but nothing super exciting. We did get a page, sneak a page in there. Um, we ended up losing out on a kill because someone DC'd, unfortunately, but we did still get the kill. We just missed out on the extra kill, unfortunately. Since this is probably the end of the episode, I'm going to open up all the chests and the sacks that I got. Let's open these chests first. I got 72 chests. Crack them all open. So we should get about seven more Pernix Quiver Fragments. Right on pace. One more. Nope. A little unlucky there. Nothing super exciting. Uh, six Pernix Quiver Fragments and Potions. You know, the usual stuff. And let's check out our sacks. First regular sack. We get uh, nothing super exciting. Got some Wyvern Bones, which is nice. And some Tensiles out of those Black Salamanders. And then we got three really big sacks. I'm going to bank some of this stuff just to create some space. All right, sack one, magic logs and a ruby chalice. Sack two, <gasps> annihilation again. All right, I think that's my second annihilation from a wilderness sack. And another ruby chalice and back bolts. Feels bad. So I was wrong. I didn't have an annihilation before. So now I have the annihilation and obliteration and two decimations. Thanks for watching episode 42 of From Chump to Champ. Unfortunately, we were unsuccessful in trying to get the spore hammer, so we're going to have to try again next week. We did uh, have a my very, very, very minor cast change this week, going from 144 mil to 145 mil, as you can see on the graph. 
Obviously, the drops from Krosis are not huge, and I really didn't get a whole lot of time to play this week, so it's not like we got spent like a massive amount of time being able to get the alkables in order to get the graph to grow. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.